we've made the effort to harmonize with one another, to harmonize how we're doing things together, to learn from each other, to learn collectively, to allow wisdom to increase. We're on that journey. You might say it's a harmonization journey, a learning journey, a wisdom journey. It's a journey of humility. Learning takes humility. It's the humility to be directed by a higher wisdom, not the wisdom of our independent self-active mind, but the wisdom of a higher knowing, the highest wisdom available to us. That's pretty important, is it not? We can't settle for a lower wisdom. That, that's true for each of us individually. And it's true for us together. Around whatever it is, what is the highest wisdom in that thing? It could shift depending on what the thing is, yes? If it was painting, I might be looking to Jim Huckabee over there as the highest wisdom in the room, or Bob Ewing. It wouldn't be me, I can tell you that. If it was yoga, I'd be looking to Karen. Highest wisdom in the room. It applies to our community. It has to be the wisdom, the wisdom to listen to the highest wisdom. Not that we just take it word for word and do exactly what someone else says or just think, try to think the thoughts that they think. But certainly, if there's someone who has the highest wisdom in the, in the room, they're worth listening to and learning from and harmonizing with. If we had a painting adventure we were on, I think we all ought to be harmonizing with what Jim had to say about it and any leadership he had to offer. I would be. At the most base level, it's following whatever direction is offered by the highest wisdom in the room. Yes? If there's guidance being offered, it's listening and following that, that guidance. That's the most basic level. But you know, it doesn't work very well to for us all have to be told to do every, all the things that we need to do, right? We can't just be taking instruction from, from others. We have to harmonize, we have to learn. We have to listen to all the subtle cues that life gives us in all the things that we do so that we can be not only full, full of love, rocking it with love, but full of wisdom full of intelligence, the highest intelligence available to us. But for that to happen, we have to be taking the subtle cues that come to us from life itself, from each other, from the highest wisdom in the room, the subtle cues of what it means to serve. And in our case, the subtle cues of what it takes to bring attunement to the world. Yes, isn't that the wisdom we're looking for? What it takes to bring attunement to the world. If we are in earnest doing that, we take those subtle cues, we watch and listen. If we're, we are not even taking the direct guidance that comes to us, we don't even get to the subtle cues, yes? Person who rejects the, the explicit, overt direction that comes to them, 
that is a higher wisdom that could lead to their harmonization. If they're not doing that, it's very likely that the, very unlikely that they're listening to any subtle cues. Anyway, you get my point. <laughs>